हेलो स्टूडेंट्स एंड लर्नर्स सो वी शैल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आई सी प्रोसेसिंग विच इज़ द लास्ट टॉपिक इन आर यूनिट फाइव अकॉर्डिंग टू आर टी ओ सिलेबस ऑफ आई सी टेक्नोलॉजी एम नेहा शर्मा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एट डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड कम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग एट इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज झालावाड़ राजस्थान सो इन आई सी फैब्रिकेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट सी वॉट आर इन आई सी और इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट्स so this definition i have taken from uh, just wikipedia you can get it an integrated circuit or monolithic monolithic integrated circuit also referred to as ic or a chip or a microchip is a set of electronic circuits on one small flat piece called chip or semiconductor material that is normally a silicon the integration of large number of tiny mos transistors into a small chip results in circuit that are orders of magnitude smaller faster and less expensive than those constructed of discrete electronic components in other mean integrated circuit is combining all the active and your passive devices which are in the order of micrometer and nanometer regime into one chip or into a one wafer i can say this is known as your integrated circuits the number of the circuits uh, is around between millions and billions so accordingly we have this integrated circuit so we have discussed in the previous lectures about these step flows uh, silicon processing includes the manufacturing or the making of your wafer from the raw silicon and moving on to the masking then we perform the photolithography process which is basically the patterning and uh, then deposition then diffusion and ion implantation uh then your metallization and planarization so photolithography after photolithography we will go to etching and the etching etching process can you know come after your diffusion also after deposition also you have this photolithography and a photolithography combined with etching process uh, can be done in uh, various steps in between that we will see in our uh, subsequent nmos pmos and cmos fabrication uh, when we go through that process so these are uh, uh, some of the steps the you know ranking of the steps can vary a little bit ke uh, photolithography ke baad diffusion deposition ke baad humne diffusion kiya followed by photolithography and etching process then etching of photolithography to har process ke baad hona zaruri hai uh, to get a fixed pattern and at last metallization by aluminum copper uh, or uh, you know silver or gold uh, by that and then last one is your planarization to get a very flat uh, surface and then last one uh, i will include as uh, your packaging and then it will go for testing and other things so this is your uh, typical fabrication process flow so now we will discuss about your nmos fabrication so process one the process starts with oxidation of your silicon substrate as you can see in your diagram b in which a relatively thick silicon dioxide layer or called the filled oxide is created on the surface then the filled oxide is selectively etched to expose the silicon surface on which the mos transistor will be created you can see here this portion this part is etched so here in this part we will grow your uh, mos transistor will be created here then after that a uh, thin oxide layer is deposited this thin oxide layer uh, is actually uh, work as your uh, uh, oxide for your gate uh, gate jab banana hoga usko hum gate oxide bhi bol sakte hain to uske liye oxide layer ki zarurat padegi so what टिपिकली और गेट कंसिस्ट ऑफ तो टिपिकली आपका एनवास ट्रांजिस्टर कुछ इस तरह से होगा यहाँ पर आपका एस आई यू टू लेयर है एंड देन ऑन दैट वी हैव पॉलीसिलिकन तो ये जो एस आई यू टू का लेयर जो हमें ग्रो करना है इट इज़ दिस थिन ऑक्साइड सो ऑन द टॉप ऑफ इट ऑफकोर्स वी नीड अ पॉलीसिलिकन 
so in the step e we will use on the top of the thin oxide layer a layer of polysilicon or polycrystalline silicon is deposited so basically polysilicon is used both as your gate electrode material for your mos transistor and also as an interconnect medium in silicon integrated circuits so uh, your undoped poly polysilicon has a relatively very high resistivity so it can be reduced by further doping it with your impurity atoms so at last uh, so in step number f uh, your polysilicon polysilicon is patterned uh, to form your gate structure and at last your uh, gate structures can be formed in your uh, uh g diagram and here the etching has been done for etching of your thin oxide layer for the interconnects so uh, after deposition the polysilicon layer is patterned and etched to form the interconnects and the mos transistor gate so as you can see here uh, a gate structure complete ho gaya hai hamare yahan pe and uh, interconnects banane ke liye ye space chhoda gaya hai moving on to the next next steps in h uh, source and drain region hum log bana rahe hain yahan pe iske liye we are using ion implantation technique ion implantation or diffusion but uh, jab bhi source or drain region banane padte hain which is shallow so we will go for ion implantation process uh, so your uh, uh, the thin gate oxide uh, is not covered by polysilicon it uh, so it is also etched away which is expose the bare silicon surface on which the source and drain regions are to be formed and uh, the entire silicon surface is then doped with very high concentration of impurities either through diffusion or your ion implantation process as i have told you so agar hum log nmos bana rahe hain to doping of course uh, n se hi uski n type ki hi doping karenge hum log donor uh, donor atoms ki basically and then in step number uh, i a uh, very uh, insulating oxide layer is deposited uh, so you can see in the previous step uh, that uh, the doping penetrates the exposed areas on the silicon surface so it can ultimately creates your source and drain region and uh, this uh, process means uh, Uh, wherever we want to you know wherever we want to grow uh, grow your source and drain region it will come below your polysilicon layer which uh, which actually makes your uh, uh, which basically makes your channel part to wo already protected hai by the your polysilicon layer to uske niche hi source and drain, drain regions form hoga so this process is known as your self alignment process okay so once the source and drain regions are completed the entire surface is then covered with an insulating layer of your silicon dioxide silicon dioxide or insulating layer jo humne lagai hai in step number insulating layer ke hum log ne coating kar di hai then again it is patterned so the insulating layer is then patterned in order to provide contact windows for your source and drain regions to yahan se contact windows Uh, we are getting for your source and drain region okay then uh, after this process we will go for your metallization so the surface is covered with evaporated aluminum which will form the interconnects uh, as you can see here and uh, uh, finally the metal layer is patterned and etched and uh, completing the interconnection of your mos transistors as you can see in your last step and uh, usually a second uh, second layer of uh, metallic interconnected interconnects can also be added on the top of this structure by creating another insulating oxide layer and uh, uh, these can be connected by your cuts or vias and then this patterning and deposition process can again be achieved so if you want to go for two layer two layer of metallization then such steps are required so you can see here ha so planarization steps is of course after this thing to get a very flat surface after this metal contact we will go for planarization technique and uh, finally our nmos is fabricated so in uh, so following the, all these steps uh, we can go means these are basic steps for your uh, uh, 
uh, for fabrication of your nmos and uh, in the coming lecture we shall be discussing the fabrication steps for your pmos and for your cmos technology thanks for today